um, women are not just women and that a majority of women in this world experience other forms of oppressions and that in her, de in, in her desire to articulate that female experience she had to integrate other women's experience too including women of color, disabled women, Jewish women and she just could not understand it at all. So it's really nice to hear Barbara and Merle articulate here this afternoon and I would also encourage the conference organizers to not isolate these women in their expression of their politics but to integrate that in further conference organizing. What happened? Um, are there really no other people who want to? Um, I don't know how well I can uh, articulate this, but this was, I haven't been at the other panels. This is to Monique. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, and the reason um, I'm going to talk about this is because I think it's a key issue in um, certain aspects of feminist analysis, not just yours, so it would be interesting to hear people. Um, when you talk as much as you have about the obligation to reproduction, the, the obligation how sexism as it exists creates the obligation to mother, um, one of the things that I think happens is that the reality of mothering and the fact that women mother becomes removed from any um, possibility of authenticity which might in fact be true in this culture but it is also true that many of us do choose to mother myself included no. and that is a realm don't even wait I'm not finished yet a realm of meaning to us and that in fact under sexism as it exists all choices have some have some element of reactivity and there's very little room for authenticity both in terms of women's sexuality, mothering, not mothering. We are all responding to a very problematic um, set of factors and it's just, it's difficult to me as a mother and a feminist to feel like that particularly is removed from some sense of authenticity whereas other realms of behavior aren't or other choices aren't. And I would like Barbara, who's nodding, to also comment. Thank you. <laughs> and maybe Tilly, too. Well, I precise that when I started to speak a little earlier that I was not addressing, uh, I was addressing uh, uh, the category of sex as a concept and what it meant to have this concept in uh, general theory, that means in philosophy, in social, social science, and everywhere. It does not mean, uh, you could say things even more unpleasant than what you said about, uh, you know, the obligation of reproduction. What I describe as being a woman is even more unpleasant, being totally, uh, a class totally own and all that. Does that mean that it must stay like that? It's not because at the conceptual level you try to define what that means, this category of sex, that you, it's, you must differentiate with, I am not talking about the experience of being a mother, I'm talking about something else. Do you understand what I mean? That does not mean that you could not be happy to be a mother. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um, I'll